In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the best places that you can sell your digital products online. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and a lot of the content that I create for this YouTube channel is usually around creating and publishing books on Amazon KDP, but maybe around a month ago, I did a couple of videos about digital products and the types of digital products that you can make money with. And a lot of you were interested in this topic and maybe you were thinking about branching out into different online businesses or adding a new income stream to your business. And so I wanted to continue making some of these videos about digital products specifically. If you are interested in these types of videos, please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any future videos that I make just like this one. I love digital products because they are a relatively low risk type of product that you can sell. You don't need any kind of inventory. You don't need any bulk stock to be able to sell it. You only need to make that product once and then it has the potential to sell forever passively or semi-passively. The last videos that I made about digital products were about the types of digital products that you can make that are actually profitable that are selling right now. So for this video, I wanted to talk about where you can sell your digital products because where you sell them can be just as important as the product you're selling itself. You want to make sure that you're selling somewhere that your potential customers are comfortable buying from and handing over personal payment information like their credit card details. And you also want it to be easy, no hassles, a professional setup so that your customers don't have any issues when they're buying from you, when they're going through the checkout process and things like that. I think most of us think straight away of Etsy when it comes to selling digital products. And it definitely is a great place to sell them, but it's not the only place and not everybody wants to sell on Etsy. So I wanna give you some alternative options for where you can sell your digital products that are not Etsy. Now, to some extent, it will depend on the type of digital product that you're selling as to where you can sell it. So not every single platform that I go over in this video is going to be suitable for every type of digital product. Also, each platform will have its own pros and cons and different pricing structures, different subscriber options. So it will also depend on your budget or what you are looking for exactly as to which one is best suited for you. But let's get started and let's look at some of the best platforms for selling your digital products on. Just a quick note as well, I am going to be mentioning pricing for some of these platforms as well. And I would just like to note that the pricing that I give and talk about in this video are correct at the time of filming this video. And obviously th those prices and features can change depending on when you are watching. The first platform that I'm going to talk about is Shopify. One way to sell your digital products is through creating your own online store through Shopify. Shopify is probably the most popular and most used e-commerce software or application out there. And it's great because it doesn't matter what kind of digital product you are selling, you can sell it on your Shopify store. And of course, you can also sell physical products if you have that part of your business as well. Using Shopify gives you complete control over your store, what it looks like, how your products are displayed, how your products are downloaded, how your payments are processed, etc. So if having total control over every aspect of your business is important to you, then Shopify is a great option. Shopify have plans that start at $29 per month if you are in the US and that price includes your hosting for your website or your online store as well and everything basically that you need to run an e-commerce store. The next platform is Podia. Podia is a platform that allows you to sell digital products and digital courses. What's great about Podia is that they do have a free plan that you can use to get started right away selling your digital products without having to spend any money. Personally, I do think it is better to have a paid plan because of the features that it's going to get you that are not included in the free plan. And it will help you create a place for your products that is professional because if you do choose the free plan, it means that you can't use your own custom domain name, which is essentially your website address that you send people to, which 
having a custom domain is something that you really want to be doing. On the free plan, it also means being charged transaction fees as opposed to being charged a monthly subscription fee. So even though you don't pay anything upfront or on a monthly basis on the free plan with Podia, they do charge you an 8% processing fee for every transaction that you make. Now, this is fine if you are just starting out and you're not sure if you're going to be selling anything, how long it's going to take to sell your products, or even if it's something that you're going to continue doing in the long run. So it is a good option if you're just testing something out and you don't want to have to pay upfront fees for something. But when you do choose a paid plan, which starts at around $30 per month, you can then use your own custom domain name. You don't get charged those transaction fees on every single sale that you make because those 8% transaction fees can really add up when you start selling more and more and you start making consistent sales. The next platform that you can sell your digital products on is Gumroad. Gumroad is a fairly simple platform that allows you to sell all kinds of digital products from eBooks to courses to memberships. The way that Gumroad works is that there are no monthly fees at all. You start your account and you start your online store with them for free. And then the fees that you do pay to Gumroad are based on how much you sell. Basically, the more you sell, the less you pay. But this is also over the lifetime of your sales. So what that means is if you have multiple products that sell, then the quicker that you move through the tiers to the lower fees. So when you are new to Gumroad and you're not really making any sales, you'll be paying Gumroad 9% plus 30 cents per transaction that they process for you. But the more you sell, the less that that becomes. So for example, let's say once you get a total of $10,000 in sales across the lifetime of your account and across all products that you have selling on Gumroad, your transaction fees will drop to 5%. So Gumroad is a good way to try out selling something without a lot of risk up front in terms of having to pay monthly subscription fees or monthly membership fees to a platform. Next up, we have Selfie, which is an e-commerce platform platform where you can sell merch or digital products and you can even sell subscriptions through Selfie. So if you have something that requires your customers to be charged on a monthly basis for, you can set that up through Selfie. Now the merch side of their platform is physical products, a print, print on demand type of product and it is their own print on demand service. So if you are interested in print on demand, selling physical products with print on demand, they have that option for you. But in terms of selling digital products, you can sell pretty much any kind of digital product through this platform. To be able to sell products through Selfie, you do need to join at least their starter plan, which is $22 per month. And the difference in the different tiers in membership with Selfie are based on the dollar amount that you sell each year. And once you reach that cap, you will have to move up to the next membership level. So in a similar sense to some of the other platforms that I've talked about already, the more you sell the different membership or subscriptions that you will have to look at having. So for example, if you are subscribed to the starter plan, which is the $22 per month, you can sell up to $10,000 in sales per year. Once you hit $10,000 per sales in one year, you will have to upgrade to the next plan, which is the business plan for $59 a month. You can create a totally custom store through Selfie and you can also use your own custom domain name, which is one of the most important features. Now, the next platform that you can use to sell your digital products on is Sendow. This platform allows you to sell all kinds of digital products, memberships, and subscriptions. You can sell things like audiobooks, software, online courses, and even event tickets if that is something that you do or that you're interested in doing. Sendow basically offers all the features of an online store or an e-commerce store, which you can use to integrate into a Shopify store if you have one, or even through your own blog or your own website that you may already have set up. Or you can just share your product links on Sendow directly to people who follow you on social media to allow them to buy your digital products. So if you don't have a website or an online store already and you are mostly active within social media, you can still sell through those avenues using the links provided from your SendOwl account. SendOwl has some really affordable plans, which is great if you are on a budget or if you're just starting out and don't want to invest a lot of money yet. They have plans starting from $9 a month and which plan is suited for you is depending 
dependent on how many products that you want to sell. The more products that you have to sell, the higher or the larger subscription you will have to purchase. The next platform I'm going to talk about is Payhip. Payhip is another platform that obviously allows you to sell your digital products. With Payhip, you can sell digital downloads, online courses, or memberships. It's a place where you can simply take payments for your products and offer immediate download or immediate access to your customers once they've made that purchase. It also has an affiliate system. So if you would like to set up an affiliate program for your products so that other people can share and promote your products for you in return for a commission, you can set that up through Payhip. They have a few different subscription levels that you can sign up for and even have a free level if you don't want to be paying any of those monthly fees. They also do charge a transaction fee regardless of the plan that you are on. So the more expensive a plan that you sign up for, the lower the amount of transaction fees that you pay. For example, if you prefer the free plan because you really don't want to be paying out any monthly fees yet, you will just pay a 5% transaction fee on each sale that you make. But if you are selling quite a lot of products and you're selling quite a lot of products consistently, then you may choose to join up for the pro plan, which is $99 a month, but then that plan has no transaction fees on each sale that you make. It all depends on how much you sell as to which plan you choose or which plan is going to be most suitable for you. But it is really great that you do have that flexibility and those options available to you. Next up, we have a platform called Digital Product Delivery, which I think is (laughs) pretty self-explanatory. This platform makes it easy to sell digital products like ebooks, software, themes or graphics if you're a graphic designer and more. With digital product delivery, you can set up products to be sold through a shopping cart system, which is basically where you upload your products and a checkout page is created for you where people can go and buy it and go through that checkout process to be able to buy the product. Or you can set up a subscriber area where you give paid access to your content on an ongoing basis, effectively a membership setup. You can have multiple stores within your one account with digital product delivery and there's no transaction fees, just a monthly fee and plans start at $10 per month. And the plan that you are most suited for will depend on how many products you have and how big the products are that you're selling. The next platform that I have to share is specifically for digital course creators and that platform is Skillshare. Although this video is not sponsored by Skillshare. It is a great platform to host and share your online courses where there is already a built-in customer base or a built-in audience. So they already have people browsing their website looking for courses to take and this always helps a bit with not having to go and find customers for your course purely on your own or starting from scratch. It doesn't cost any money to upload a course to Skillshare, but they do have guidelines that you need to follow. So you need to make sure your videos adhere to their guidelines before they will get approved to be available on their website. And you are paid based on royalties rather than having to pay subscription fees or transaction fees and then just receiving a sale of your course. Skillshare essentially creates something that they call a royalty pool and the royalties that you receive are based on how many minutes of your videos that students watch. The more popular your videos or your courses are, the more royalties you're going to receive. So this setup isn't just where you have a store or a platform where you sell a course and you're just receiving the profits of those courses not like that. If this doesn't appeal to you, then choosing one of the other platforms that I've already mentioned to sell your online course on may be more suitable. And the last platform that I want to talk about is specifically suited for those who want to create a membership site and generate recurring income, and that is MemberPress. MemberPress is a WordPress plugin, and for me personally, WordPress has always been my preferred platform for many, many years for building websites, blogs, online stores, and that's because it is free to install WordPress to create a website, and you can install lots of different products into your website to add lots of different functionalities depending on what it is you need in your website. One of those functionalities is creating a membership area on your WordPress site so that you can give access to your content most often on a monthly basis. Membership sites are a great way to generate recurring monthly income and it can become very substantial. You can make a lot of money with this type of business model. But back to the plugin, all you do is install 
the member press plugin into your WordPress site, customize it to however you want it to work, and you have a membership site to sell. You can use the plugin to drip feed your content out if you want, which means the people who subscribe to your membership don't receive all the content at once. It comes out to them over a period of time. And you can use it for online course content too, as well as other digital products. MemberPress is one of the most popular membership plugins or apps out there. And the cost to use this plugin starts at $15 per month. And that is nine different platforms that are some of the best out there for selling your digital products currently. It is by no means an exhaustive list, but these are the most reliable, professional, and most used platforms at the moment. If you have been looking for somewhere to sell your digital products that isn't Etsy, then I hope you have found this video helpful and have found somewhere suited to where you want to sell your digital products. And I'll see you in the next video.